I'm a cognitive scientist, and when I saw Anthony Joshua say this to Jake Paul during the pre-match interview... I think Jake is someone where I got beaten mentally. If I can break his soul, and I can break his mentality, then I've broken Jake. I didn't hear bravado. I heard cognitive strategy. And it's the same cognitive strategy that explains why people can't get enough of him inside and outside of the ring. Because dominance isn't just physical. It's cognitive. Fighters at that level aren't just managing strength and technique. They're managing attention, fear, breath, impulse control, and perception under extreme pressure. In the ring, you're already regulating your body, reading your opponent, tuning out the crowd, and making split-second decisions. If someone can introduce doubt, hesitation, or emotional disruption on top of that, even briefly, they gain a real advantage. And that's what people are reacting to when they say that he took his soul with a smile. They're intuitively recognizing a moment of psychological control, not just physical momentum. This is also why people are drawn to Anthony Joshua. Humans are attuned to dominance that feels stable. When someone is embodied, regulated, and cognitively in control, people feel that and our brains are wired to pay attention. 